Okay, I just finished a video on developing the same speed of the knife. Well, got a photo tomahawk too. So, that has to be developed also. Usually a tomahawk's a little bit heavier than your throwing knife. So, you have to, that's a different speed that you have to uh, work on. Same principle. You get your rubber band barriers up here. You have to develop that speed of that tomahawk. Again, we're talking one spin here. Develop that speed of that tomahawk to get in between these rubber band barriers. So let's see what that looks like in real time. Tomahawk counts too. Okay, you see what I'm talking about? Develop that speed of that tomahawk. Oh, and by the way, if you're going to split golf tees, split them in the middle. That way you can reuse them. It's a little bit cheaper that way. Develop the speed of the tomahawk also. Hitting in between the boundaries. This is the same speed. If you cut the rubber bands, you've slowed it down or you speeded it up. You've released wrong. If you hit these rubber bands, that means that you're not lined up right. So... That's very much an integral part of training, and uh, you can't leave the tomahawk out. It's a little bit wider blade, so hey, you got to be even more accurate with that tomahawk to keep from cutting those rubber bands. So have a nice afternoon, everybody. Have a nice dinner. It's on me. Thank you. Bye.